Well, hello everyone. This is Stevio, and we are harvesting still in Millennial Farmer's Field. Look at that. Yeah, I got kicked out of the harvester. Yeah. Ooh. Uh-oh. Somebody's going to have to unload Zach over there. He's getting full. So we're on the back of his place here, right behind his house. Uh, what is this? I'm not for sure how many acres this is back here, but it is definitely bigger in that little small little patch we did in front. So we got good news. We've been listening to the radio. You guys might remember we actually found a vehicle in Zach's cornfield. Well, that gets impounded. The police come. They do their investigation. They do their crime scene. We were shut down for like a half a day. They they understood our uh, troubles, let's just say. And then they did their investigation. We wrote our statements. Really have no idea how that car got into Zach's field. Yeah, run that over there for uh, Zach there. Yeah, just so he doesn't have to watch that all winter long. But that impound auction is going to be today. Right here. We actually are just uh, getting as much done as we possibly can. And I, I think Zach and me are going to head down there. Uh, we're just going to shut down this operation because really if both of us are gone, it can't really function. It looks like uh, we are waiting for trucks anyways. So, all right, the truck just showed up. We're going to offload our V800 or 800 bushel grain car. That's the bad thing about having extra wide tires. You have to get awful close to the truck when you're offloading. Look, we got plenty of space here. I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, looks like Zach is on his way back here. That's our scale going down there. If you could see, we are almost unloaded. We gotta jot all that weight down so that way we have a uh, accurate reading of the bushels and the weight that way Zach kind of has a accurate reading of how much grain he needs to sell how much grain is in the t in the his bins he is flying with that uh, s700 there I'm gonna yeah Zach buddy make sure you stop at the end of the field we're gonna be late the auction's going to start without us. With or without us, buddy. Alright. I think we should be about done. Oh, no. I hate it when... I hate it when my harvester's parked right by Zach's here. If you can tell, this just gives a really bad impression. Yeah, yeah. Size does matter. I get it. Holy cow. I definitely not compensating for anything with the size of my auger there. Whew. Yeah, that's tiny. We're going to take this semi back, offload it quick. We're going to offload this really quick and try to make sure we make it to the auction in time. Because this isn't an online auction. This is a local impound auction that they do once a year. And, you know, impound auctions are kind of unique. Anything that isn't claimed after it's been through investigation or it's been held as evidence and it's not claimed past that, the city will sell it. The local county or city will sell that and uh, use the profits to either go to the local school or the local community any way, shape, or form. They usually have very unique vehicles just for the simple fact most of the people that steal these type of vehicles are, uh, let's just say, unique. So you never know what you're going to find. You can find anything from a $100,000 camper to a boat to a $100 POS. Let's just say that. So you never know. A lot of dealers go to them, a lot of auction, but we are going to head over there. And I think Jim is going to drive. Holler boys. Hmm. That's different. No, I don't. What, what is that supposed to mean, Jim? One of the main reasons we are headed here 
is we just want to see how much this roadster actually goes for. We did make sure that roadster actually made it to the impound auction. Just call us bad farmers or call us whatever. We shut down our corn operation. Zach is definitely a gear monkey. He loves racing. He loves muscle cars. He loves about anything that gets your adrenaline pumping. And I don't blame him whatsoever shutting down operations here. Ooh, here we go. As you know, this isn't a huge impound because it's just the local community. Ooh, what, what do we have here? What the... Uh, I guess we will park over here. No, no, exactly where they want us to be. Okay. Oh, man, Jim's truck is a smoking bastard. You see it over there? Okay, what do we have going on here? Wow, I have to say, this beetle is kind of cool. Look, man, is that cool. What the heck do we got going on here? Looks like we souped up the engine. I'm not 100% on what this actually has in it. That hitch is right through the fence. Yeah, okay, hopefully we don't run away with the fence, whoever drives us. Ooh, yeah. This thing kind of looks bigger than a regular beetle. Oh, wait. We got a regular beetle right here, I believe. Oh, man, I'm so glad my wife isn't with us right now. That might be a problem. I don't know if I can look at that in the garage. Not that the beetle isn't cool. I love the white walls. I kind of dig the old beetle look, especially when you uh, mod it out. But uh, that pink, whew, that's a lot of pink. Yeah, somebody didn't exactly understand how a three-wheeler was built. I think this was somebody's misunderstanding, and they just swapped it. Just a miscommunication. I don't know, this thing is kind of cool, though. It's kind of like, what do they call them? The little needles that you see people drive around? That truck is definitely odd. That Ford is something, something, something else altogether. That's odd looking. Now this is a good looking Chevy here. I have to say, this is a real good looking sh Chevy. There's a business in the background here. Uh, yeah, this is in the kind of the boonies. So, we're kind of on the outskirts of the city. We got an old U-Haul trailer here. We got a dinghy. Ooh, man. I'm going to have to... Zach, did you see the dinghy? The dinghy. Uh, we got a motorcycle. We got an old camper trailer. We got a pretty cool police car. Uh, we got a different looking three-quarter ton truck here. If it wasn't for the paint, I think I would dig it. Now, that is definitely a truck that is odd looking. Yep, looks like it's foreign. Somebody must have brought this overseas. Don't have to worry about compensating in this truck. It looks like a Volkswagen rabbit mod to a truck. Oh, we got a little, even a go-kart here. Starts up, and we can go 200 miles per hour for it. Where's that kilometer? Yeah, that old, uh, was that, Yamaha? That can't get it to 200 kilometers, I don't think at least. If, unless they have some special fuel additive. Oh, a Titan XD. Wow, this has got to be, this, you don't see these everywhere. This is when Nissan got a contract with Cummins. Turbo Diesel, Titan XD. I believe this is just a beefed up half ton. Don't know if this is considered a three quarter ton or not. Don't know a lot about it. It might be just in between the three quarter ton and half ton. I'm not sure what the XD means. Cummins Turbo, right here. Look at the tires. This is a clean truck. It's got tow mirrors, but that's, of course, it's a one ton. Dash doesn't work, I guess. You never know. You buy as is at this impound lot. You just, 
you roll the dice. You roll the dice. And speaking of rolling the dice, this thing has definitely seen a day or two in the sun. That is the hot rod. This is why we came, and oh my goodness. Bigfoot, four by four by four. Oh man, this is the legend, the original monster, the original monster truck. This has got to be something like a remodel or something, a kit model. Look at all them shocks. Man, this is one of the first and coolest. Look at that brake. I guess, is that a brake they use? Looks like a brake for the gears down there. Not sure how that all works. Oh man, look at you shake. Oh, you could just feel how strong that motor is. This is really, oh my goodness. This, this is why I come. Pearl control, not for sure what, if that's an old school computer box there. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for this auction to start. And it has a winch on the front. Oh man, man, now I, I, I don't have a lot of money. I don't even know what I'm gonna bid on now. There's so many options. I don't know, I think me and uh, Zach are gonna, we're gonna fight it out and might uh, become, we might not be friendly after this. That truck on the end is nice, nice. Well, we did it now. Zach definitely isn't happy. Uh, the auction took way longer than what we thought it was and now it's raining. Now we can't even harvest. Oh well, guess we're gonna have to play with our toys. Uh, if you can see, yeah, we did pick up some items here. Yeah, if you could see under here, we got uh, a few items with us. Unfortunately, me and Zach bid and bid on that truck. And I guess somebody, uh, I didn't know that you could do this. Me and Zach probably would have just called in, but somebody was on the phone and and right underneath us uh, outbid both me and Zach. Yeah, good thing the windshield wipers are running here. Let's see how muddy we can make ourselves with this open door right here. Come on, you can do faster than this. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's a little muddy in this field. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I didn't know that Zach isn't going to be happy that I'm doing this in his field. Let's just say that. Ah, uh, just joking. Zach's dad actually wanted the Bigfoot. So we kind of backed out. Me and Zach agreed that he could get it. If you know, he has a shop. He has toys. And he's, in, he's living the retired, semi-retired life, I guess. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You bet you are. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in Bigfoot area. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Let's see how this girl handles in the real mud. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. I think we got some mud on top of the cab here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm not going to be allowed back to Zach's place now. No way, shape, or form. Don't forget, like the video. Thank y'all. Oh, look at that. Four-way steer, two-way steer here. Yeah, we can do some real donuts now.